We were surprised and blessed to find out that we were pregnant a third time. And along came Ben in June of 92. Everything was just as it was with the other two. You know, a very joyous moment. An hour after Ben was born, that joy was swept away. A neurologist said something I hear in my head to this day. Ben may never be able to walk, talk, or go to school. In your darkest moments, you'll be delighted to find that there are silver linings, that you will find moments of peace and of light. Ben couldn't have been born to greater parents for his situation. I mean, they never stopped pushing him, ever. I started working with Ben. We just took it as every student had the ability to learn. He was just included in everything that everybody else did. But we were worried about, you know, what if he had a seizure while he was at school? How would they handle that? Everything is different with Ben in your classroom. 35 or 40 years ago, you wouldn't see a Ben George on this campus. That just because we can't understand what he's thinking, that just because he can't articulate it, doesn't mean that there's not a whole lot going on in his head. The question that is asked, or the statement that's made most frequently is, I don't know how you do it. My name is Ben. Benjamin Michael George. 